This week's Safety Toolbox talk is on eye protection. Here we are at the cusp of beginning a new season. We're at the end of March. We're hiring an awful lot of tradesmen. We've got a lot of jobs powering back up. And once again, I'm going to be out doing audits on the job sites. Our superintendents are going to be doing audits out on the job sites. And we're going to have a lot of new tradesmen this year. Now, eye protection is probably one of what we would call the low-hanging fruit PPEs out there. We have a lot of tradesmen that choose to wear it sometimes, maybe not at all. They feel that these readers are enough in itself because you know what, I need to read my drawings, I, I can't see my screws in my apron, whatever the excuse might be. You only have two eyes. In a given day, think about all the pleasures that your eyes give you, the colors that you see, the opportunity to see your, your partner, your spouse, your family, to go out to a movie, the simple pleasures in life that your eyes bring you. And we only have two. When you come in for an orientation, when you work for Berglund Construction Company, we provide you with a pair of safety glasses. These encompass the entire eye. They're shock resistant Z87, just as it shows in the OSHA subpart E for personal protective equipment. We want shock resistant safety glasses. In the summertime, we try and help you out a little bit and we give you the tinted Z87 glasses. If you're going to be cutting rebar with a partner saw and there's flying slag from the steel, we want you to wear your safety glasses with a face shield. If you're welding, are these sufficient safety glasses? Because you know they're not and you're burning the retinas to your eyes. You should be using the welding goggles. These are the right PPE and you should know that. Our subcontractors should know that and if they're not wearing these you should be stopping them from doing that operation until they are. We have two eyes. When you lose your vision it was from your own accord. It's very difficult for us to have sympathy for you when you lose your vision or you end up with an obstruction in your eyes because you chose not to wear the right PPEs. Something else to take into consideration. What's the proper personal protective equipment to use when I'm working with chemicals that can splash up in my eyes? Shouldn't it be my Z87s and my face shield? Because it should. Are you remembering to material wreck this for your projects and look at the hazards associated with the tasks out there that might require you to have a face shield in your gang box. And then for those of you who cannot get by without your readers or prescription, there's an overlay safety glass out there that simply goes over these. There's plenty of means and methods to protect your eyes. Don't be complacent and take a chance at losing the vision of one of your, both of your eyes because you're sweating, they're fogging up, whatever your excuse might be. You've got two eyes, your employer offers you the right personal protective equipment to use and you're choosing not to wear the proper PPE. So it's your own choice that is creating your own injury to your eyes. So this week, let's talk about this. I do have a text that accompanies this video. And let's protect those big, beautiful eyes, okay? Let's have a safe week.